you can do anything as long as you have the passion drive focus and the support hello everyone today's success story is an inspiration to many as it truly defines this proverb this is a real life story of a 17 year old boy who dreamt of success worked hard passionately had the drive and focus to forge ahead towards his goal got the timely support from his friend for his education and ultimately became one of the most successful and richest man in the world yes you got it right today i'll take you through the inspiring real life story of the man behind the sandwich that ate the world today everyone knows about subway which is a brand subway is one of the most recognized fast food restaurant in the world well subway has a humble and an inspiring origin story as it was established by a 17 year old boy named fred de luca and his partner dr peter buck Fred had a dream to become a doctor and wanted to find a way to finance his education. A family friend recommended that he opens a submarine sandwich shop and he decided to take up that advice and with the aid of Dr. Peter Buck and his $1000 loan he established the first subway shop at Bridgeport, Connecticut on August 1965. At that point it was called Peet Super Submarines after Buck. However, on local radio advertisements, Peet Submarine sounded like Pizza Marines, which gave listeners a different impression of the business altogether. As a result, De Luca and his co-founder decided to rename the company Peet Subway as Just Subway in 1968. Fred and Dr. Buck's original goal was to establish 32 stores in a 10 years time frame but even for a very fast growing company that wasn't a reasonable goal at that time by 1974 they had only managed to establish 16 shops in Connecticut and were very far away from their goal that sparked a decision to turn their submarine sandwich restaurant into a franchisee model because they knew this would get them the growth they wanted as proven by their latest success they were actually right on track marking the start of a period of remarkable growth for the company as they were able to make a profit of around $7000 in the first round and were also able to open 14 new restaurant in the same year the company made it compulsory that the bread that they would be using for the sandwiches should be baked in the restaurant itself this helped increase subway's reputation and demand as the quality of the product increased with quality and standards in place in 1987 Subway had opened its 1000 store and in the year 1998 Subway opened its 10000 store In the 2000s America was facing the problem of people being endangered by high obesity Citing the opportunity Subway started a media campaign where a 22 year old guy Jared Fogel claimed that he had lost 111 kilos eating only subway sandwiches this campaign made subway world famous for quality food in the year 2002 subway became the franchisee with the highest number of outlets overtaking long time leader mcdonalds subway now has branches in 102 countries with a yearly revenue of 10 billion dollars as there are more than 42000 subway outlets around the world in 
De Luca had been diagnosed with leukemia and was reducing his leadership role at the company level while he received his treatment. His sister Susan Greco became the CEO of the company. De Luca passed away just weeks after Subway's 50th anniversary. Subway celebrated its 50th anniversary on August 28, 2015. Don Furtman, the company's chief development officer and the Subway's employee for more than 35 years said, one key to the company's growth has been simplicity. He said, we are a sandwich shop first and foremost. Recalling the old and golden days, Furtman said, In the first tour, that first day, when Fred DeLuca made a sandwich for a little girl who ridden up on a bike, he said, What do you want on it? That is what we had been doing ever since, said Furtman. So, through the success story of Subway, we can draw the following inference especially for the one who think themselves as a prospective business owner and are willing to go Subway's way to follow their way of success. First, set goal for your business. No matter how big or small you are, setting goals and sticking to the original goal to achieve it is the key to success. <clears throat> Second, Find something consumers want and make it or provide that service. For every business, it's important to make sure you're able to build a product or develop a service that people want and are willing and prepared to even pay for it. Third, learn the basics of running a small business. Get to understand the basics of everything your business does and needs to do. For example, understand advertising and marketing needs. Find out from your local chamber of commerce what your legal requirements are for your staff. Learn how to develop and build systems quickly and efficiently. All of those basics will hold you in good stead as you start to grow your own business. Sell a well-made, high-quality product. There's nothing better than having a product you absolutely believe in. Having a well-made product will augment your growth as you will win work by referrals and repeat business plus your marketing just becomes a whole lot easier. Fifth, provide excellent customer service. People often discuss creating a point of difference. This is one area often forgotten where you have the opportunity to differentiate yourself from your competitors. If you are friendly, honest, quick to call back and just make your customers a priority, you will drive your competition out of business. Sixth, keep your operating costs low. I personally bang on about this one a lot because there's nothing worse than having a high break-even point. It causes financial stress on the business. You have little room for error and any slip in the economic conditions will send your cash flow into the red mark. Where you can keep your cost as low as possible, that means considering recurring cost very carefully. Seventh, Get in front of your prospect's location. Wherever your prospects are, you need to do what you can do to get in front of them. Subway is on a lot of street corners and in popular shopping malls as their prospective customers are maximized in these locations. For those, it's not necessary a physical location who run 100% online business need to work out where your customers are trying to find you. Probably on Google, social networking site can be a best place to start with. Last but not the least, 
build and refine good business systems. Every small business needs good systems. Develop them as thoroughly as you can to ensure quality control which adds value to customer's satisfaction. That's all for today's video. I hope you liked my video and thanks for watching and if you liked my video please do not forget to like, share and subscribe my channel by Papia's Vlog. Do not forget to press on the bell icon so that you are updated with my latest video. Thank you and have a nice day ahead. Bye-bye.